gonna take a video real quick. Uh, guys, it's now day three. Um, fuck, I'm tired. I don't want to go, man. But today is a quest, that'll be hard. Mr. B, Mr. B, Mr. B, just behave yourself. I just finished a six hour shift and I'm about to go and rage again. Mr. Quest, man. I'm going to go and finish my back. My back signs are hard. I didn't know this was all this felt like. You can kind of see the place from here too, right? It's like behind BM and Field. So it's a relatively short walk, I guess. Today we're seeing Tana. Oh, it's 520 right now. I don't know if it's on. Tana is a 545, I don't know if you can catch it, but I think Tana, check where it's like a foreign council, Migos council, Blue Tech council, Blue TJ council. But I didn't want to see all those guys, but still, Tama is the night one. Check, Nav, then Future. Sorry, we still did so. Have this one. As I said in the end of the last video, they three on paper had already panned out to be the midest of them all. <laughs> Besides, obviously, my god, Whiskey. Repping bro, rolling loud headliner, insane doings. What are you talking about? As I was saying, it was meant to be the meanest day of them all, but it wasn't. It actually turned out to be the most freaking craziest day out of all of them for many reasons, but mainly because of one artist, <laughs> Chromas. And I'm telling you, like, <laughs> you can't, you can't guess on what you think happened that says if he didn't go trust me there's no way i get to it man no way it was it was an experience to say the least on a side note i would love to be some of these police officers on the horse man i'll just strut all day are you kidding me strut let's strut all day i want to see one video of a police officer coming to your rescue on a horse man i just want to see one video please send it to me on any social media if you have if you have ever witnessed such a thing where they came and they stopped a crime but they pulled up in a horse please if you have such videos send it to me thank you
Stay clear with this second video just so we can focus and stay on track and i'm doing this for you guys to ignore me obviously because i'm good so here we go chroma set bet 99 stage wow who keeps coming back to this video i just saw in this short clip and the next clip after or maybe you didn't even notice but people were booing and like you can see like thumbs down and like, she's still performing man she's just still going Whoa! let me give you the breakdown of what happened here <laughs> <laughs> it's day three and if you look at this original set list chromas was actually meant to be on the main uber stage at 4 15 pm 4 15 and if you look at that lineup she kind of goes along with all the other people there like the brother roadrunner in aj tracy said that we saw before check where so she would have you know her crowd and her people were there but where am i right now bet 99 stage we are standing here who do we think we're meant to be seeing ski mask because it's 8 pm so i don't know what happened she either missed her set or da da da, da and they shall moved it around because they wanted her to perform they were like toronos toronos what would they even call her first lady or something like that she has to perform so they gave her a set when like ski mask was meant to perform and i think they didn't tell anybody at least me i didn't know because i was trying to see ski this was the first time i saw him no one knew they pulled up to the stage and then just saw the new updated one on the stage chroma is now at 8 pm that was steamers time look at the two set lists you can see right there but now steamers was moved to 850 which is just such a bad move from really loud like bro it's like almost like they don't understand how this crowd thing this is actually the whole situation with like metro metro again i have to go and edit that video honestly like these guys have come here trying to see schemas which is music is definitely very different from chromas and now we come our same chroma like i'm not one to be a boa like i think that's really messed up like <laughs> I don't want to be on stage and put a boy me like that's really f***ed up. But this is one situation that I actually joined in because, bro, like from like I'll say five ten minutes into it, but like boo, and I'm like yo, this kind of messed up. But she went on for at least another like twenty minutes, bro. She's like, what bitch? <laughs> what bitch? That's what she was saying. She was like, you're gonna listen to this bitch. You can't end me. <laughs> I was like, damn. Now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna force us, you're gonna sit us down here and force us to listen. Bro, that's even disrespect to your heart. Like, I'll never sit somewhere down and be like, please listen to this thing by fault, by fire. When I know it's fire, you know what I mean? Should have just left once you saw that the crowd was in. It's like, like Drake said, going I'm to use a performance at Camp Vlog now when they were booing. Like, don't you respect yourself? She kept saying, you, you can't listen to this, what bitch? And then, as if that wasn't bad enough, she now brought out a chair and sat down and propped up her toe. 
I was like, here we go, man. Here we go. Old Johnny came out of nowhere and did it, did, man, on stage. On stage. This was five seconds after we booed and booed out. She performed like three more songs. And then after that is when she now walked off. Like, my jaw was just down. It was just on the floor. Because, to be honest, up until now, I had no real opinion about her. Like, I just see her on six balls. This is just my one. And then, all the time, in general, I didn't really like, have any impression of her besides, wow! But now I'm like, bro, you're kidding me. <laughs> you're kidding me. It's almost like you're like a villain, like a real life villain. And then there's people that I hate. And she's just like, no, you. And she went to that role, like, this was some joker shit. Like, after we booed and booed, I say, you know what? You're bringing me, you're going to watch this man suck my toes. <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> You're a bully, man. You're a bully. We stayed there. We paid to watch this ski mask. Now we are sitting here. Ah, 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 ah. For like 30 minutes. And then this guy now sucked your toes on stage, man. Come on. Nah. You're cooked, bro. You're cooked. <laughs> And I'm here to represent my brother XXX Tentacion. And my brother Juice Wall. So let's fuck shit up! Yo, 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 let's go. Let's go, 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 let's Let's try some off the wall shit, man. Wait, 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 wait. You not ready? Over here. What the fuck is up? <laughs> oh shit, I forgot there's a whole other side over here. There's literally a whole side over here. Hey, right side! I feel like me, kid. Cause I'm wild and out. Uh -huh. I know God over there. Shake them up all on the Pokemon and catch some shake Cause I fly like I've never been walking Hold on Green Me and the Mike and Jamona come back in Make some motherfucking noise Toronto
Wow, well, sir. Like, this is exactly why I said today was the craziest day. I never thought in my life I would come and see whiskey set and the guy is saying open that shit up open that much speed up like bro we just trash speakers man like same day we now had chromas on the clear amazing speakers getting a toast up like what a day bro honestly they even blame me man because like you brought this guy on this hip-hop lineup this hip-hop festival he put him there and like how many people was there to really support like i can only think off the top of my head maybe rema and i would say somehow dave so obviously the guy had to cater to the others and try to do much people wow i just wanted to enter the ground man i didn't want to open my eyes while i was recording so i had to i just want to look at these guys washing to whiskey such is life man While whiskey is going on, I'm just gonna quickly give out awards. As is the end of the whole festival, this is day three. So I'm just gonna talk about best speakers, worst speakers, top five sets for me, and then overall good and bad from the whole festival. Obviously, worst speaker, Uber Stage. Oh my god, so trash, so trash. This day three was the day I saw the most people on that Uber Stage, and I was so sure. By the future, I was sure, but now I was so sure that it was trash, man. Somehow, Skepta set was too hard, besides the fact that it was on the Uber Stage, but that's the only set that I can say it was too good. Miss Kid said, thank God, it wasn't like 8080, but even with that, I was struggling to handle it. Best speakers, obviously, Bet99. A lot of people there I saw slap. This is the best segment to top five. It's not any other. Top five sets for Misha, Don Toliver, Lee Yadi, Miss Kid, Skepta, Destroy Lonely. 
That's fine. No, good and bad. I'm impressed with the way they did this place. Like I said in the first video, like they had a lot of chilling spots, and like I just like the way festivals go past the stage and buying drinks and whatever and buying merch. Rena actually does a good job of putting installations and other things for us to look at and play. So there was like the whole mini mat area. There's like a basketball. There's rides and stuff. So that's actually really dope. Negatives. I just wish how many artists they didn't cancel. I mean that's like a must at this point, man. I feel like I'm always saying the same thing. All of them cancel and they were never coming in. They didn't even get canceled. That, and people were still on that day still hyped to see those guys that's my stuff speakers obviously please the first of all first thing has to be the speakers it has to be fire and it's not easy for you to come at me but like if anything has to flop it can't be the speakers man like take away the match stand put that money to speakers bro you know what I mean <laughs> Anyways, all in all, British experience to be honest. The fact that I could just wake up and cycle to the venue and cycle back, no Airbnb, no no big stress, that was a plus. So yes, good experience. Would definitely recommend to come back. I will go again. Please really now come back, man. It's been two years. Boys are dying on bottom. <laughs>